Hello everyone and welcome back to today's nugget. It's Thursday and today's lesson talks about a weapon that conquers. Now when I read the title of today's lesson, I thought to myself, but isn't that the point of every weapon? You know, to conquer? But the truth is, not every weapon is effective. Some weapons are more effective than others. I mean, let's face it, a bomb is more effective than a bullet. So what if I told you that you have a weapon at your disposal that is much more powerful than any bomb? That when you release this weapon, it has the power to heal the sick, um, part seas, make the earth stand still, and with it, you can even raise the dead. But wait a minute, that doesn't sound like a weapon at all. I mean, after all, weapons tend to damage. They don't heal, they destroy. Okay, I forgot. With this weapon, you can bring down walls, cast out demons, and put entire armies to flight. Does that sound more like a weapon to you? By now, I hope you've caught on to the fact that the greatest weapon at our disposal is prayer. Now, let me be clear. Prayer is not powerful. It's not. Prayer is not like some magic spell where if you say all the right things, something powerful will happen. That's not prayer. That's witchcraft. Prayer doesn't work like that. Prayer is not powerful. What is powerful is the one to whom you are praying because he is the King of Kings, Lord of Lords, Creator of heaven and earth. He is the Alpha and the Omega, the Lord God Almighty, and for him, nothing is impossible. Let me be clear. Prayer is not powerful. Your heavenly Father, to whom you pray, is powerful. And Jehoshaphat discovered the power of praise and prayer when a vast army shows up at his doorstep and he realizes he's outgunned and outmanned. There's no way he can win this fight. So what does Jehoshaphat do? The Bible says that he was determined to talk to God about it because God is never outgunned or outmanned. Once again in this lesson, we see that God takes us down roads that may not seem either safe or sound. So why do I say this? Because this time the battle plan is to go into battle, but not with an army of men, but with a bunch of choir boys. That's right. You heard me. He's going into battle not with soldiers, but with singers. Does that sound like that would be sane or safe to you? But here's the thing. It's not about being sound or safe. It's about putting your faith in what you know to be true about God, which is the basis of all worship. So how does this battle end? It ends in victory because Jehoshaphat used the most powerful weapon he had, his heavenly Father. And when Jehoshaphat turned to God in prayer, the battle became the Lord's, and God never loses. Faith is the victory. That was our nugget for today. Take care. I'll see you tomorrow.